Today, we're gonna have a look at the successor of the Jimi Hendrix of mice, the Microsoft IntelliMouse. I don't really know if that simile works though, because Jimi Hendrix kind of redefined what it meant to be a really good guitar player, whereas the Microsoft IntelliMouse was just a good budget mouse. Like it didn't, oh, okay, I got it, I got it. It redefined what it meant to be a good gaming mouse. So yeah, the, the simile makes sense now, it really does. <laughs> Jimi Hendrix aside, the original IntelliMouse by Microsoft really was very good and I'm pretty sure that anybody above the age of 23 watching this video probably owned one at some point. Uh, I know I did, and it really was good. Considering how legendary the original IntelliMouse was, I'm quite surprised that there wasn't more of a fanfare around the, the new IntelliMouse by Microsoft. But today, I'm gonna see whether or not it's any good. I've been using this mouse for the last four weeks on my main gaming system, and I play quite a big variety of games. I play mostly Dota, but I also play quite a lot of CSGO, a lot of Apex, PUBG, and also Battlefield 5. Now in this video, I'm gonna focus mainly on Battlefield 5 when it comes to actually deciding how I feel about this mouse, because I feel that Battlefield 5 is the first person shooter that I'm the best at, and it means that I'm the most capable of telling when a mouse is holding me back, and it's not just, <laughs> it's not just my skills holding me back. I'm not an amazing gamer, but I'm a pretty decent Battlefield 5 player, and I can hold my own in most first person games. Um, I know that those of you that watch me stream probably won't agree with that, but you know, it's, 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 there's pressure when you're streaming, you know, it's different. And then just a final bit of clarification before we get hands on with the mouse, I was doing all of the gaming tests at 1440p. Now with that, let's get into the physical breakdown of the mouse. The packaging is pretty nice. It comes in this kind of like clamshell box, which is very minimalistic. Now, as far as the actual build quality of the mouse goes, uh, it's made entirely of plastic. It's pretty sturdy plastic though, and it's not that heavy. What's quite nice about the mouse is that it doesn't feel creaky in your hand when you, when you like put pressure on it. The finish is very durable uh, because this is after four uh, four weeks of use and there's very little buildup for me at least. Like I, I my hands kind of produce cottage cheese naturally, so I I am very heavy on mice and this finish held up really well and it was really easy to clean after four weeks as well. As far as buttons go, it's very basic. You've got a scroll wheel, you've got two click buttons, and then you've got two extra buttons on the side. I really like those buttons. I use them a lot uh, in first person shooters. I use them to cycle between guns um, and I if any more buttons and I wouldn't use them all in all it's a decent looking mouse that's pretty comfortable although I don't know if it's gonna be comfortable for everyone now let's get into what this mouse is actually like to use now in a desktop situation which honestly is how most people are gonna use this mouse I mean it, it really isn't a specific gaming mouse it's pretty good. Uh, the tracking is reasonable, even at 4K. It feels smooth enough, and you know, it, it it just feels like a decent mouse. It doesn't feel as bad as most office mice feel. So okay, yes, it's an office mouse that works well as an office mouse. Big surprise there. But let's move on to the more dangerous territory for a mouse, which is gaming. Is this a very good budget gaming mouse? I'm not gonna beat around the bush here. I don't think it's a particularly good gaming mouse. Um, especially when playing Battlefield 5, which again, we're gonna use mostly for the tests because that's the game I'm the, uh, the shooter I'm the most comfortable with. When it comes to bigger movements and just moving around the map, uh, honestly, the mouse is fine. It's very close to the like DPI that I use on other mice as well when gaming at 1440p. So it doesn't feel too sluggish to me. The biggest problem with the mouse is when it comes to to very small distance tracking. So if you're aiming at someone um, at a longer distance in Battlefield 5, it feels like the movements are really sticky and quite jittery. So it's really difficult to get a good aim 
at longer distances when your target is very small with this mouse. Now let me explain why this is a really big issue for my Battlefield 5 playstyle. Now I have two primary strategies when it comes to team deathmatch kind of games. Uh, the first one is good positioning, so I try and flank the enemy as much as possible so that I can shoot them while they're shooting at my team. The other one though is I'm quite good at aiming at long distances with like submachine guns, with closer range weapons. So it means that when I'm playing team deathmatch where everyone is using closer range weapons, I try and put as much distance between me and the enemy because I know in that position, nine out of 10 times I'm gonna win the engagement because I'm more accurate at that kind of range than most gamers that I encounter playing Battlefield 5. And with this mouse, instead of getting nine out of the 10 times winning the actual engagement, I only win it three or four times out of 10, which obviously is significantly worse. Now I'm gonna try and illustrate it as well as I can with like footage here. But as you can see here, I've got um, the Microsoft Intelli mouse. And you can see it's really difficult to make fine adjustments when you're aiming in the distance. Whereas here, I'm using one of my favorite mice, which is a Corsair M65 Elite. And the M65 Elite, the tracking is really smooth and it's significantly easier to make those shots at longer distances. So again, here you can see if you're shooting through a door frame to a wall, it, it's really difficult to line up those shots properly. Another thing that feels quite weird about the mouse is the, the feet on the base of the mouse actually are too resistant. So on a, on a proper control surface style mouse pad, the mouse offers too much resistance. The massive amount of resistance that it offers in combination with the not very accurate sensor means that it feels really sticky when you're making small adjustments in games. So the mouse feels very sticky at the stock DPI of 1600. But if you increase that to the max DPI that the mouse allows, which is 3200, if anything, the problem becomes worse because it's still inaccurate, but now it's just more sensitive. So it becomes really unwieldy. Honestly, it's really difficult to be accurate in Battlefield 5 with this IntelliMouse. As you can see here, it kind of looks like I dance around the target, but that's because I'm fighting the mouse to get it exactly where I want it to be. Whereas with the Corsair M65 Elite, you can see I'm significantly more accurate. But anyway, um, I know that it seems quite unfair to compare the like micro tracking of the Intelli mouse to a pretty good gaming mouse with a very good sensor in it. The thing is though, even in a vacuum, even if you're not comparing it directly to that mouse, which I wasn't for the four weeks that I was using it, I kept getting frustrated because I was in positions where I thought that usually I would be able to win the engagement, but I end up not winning it. And it always felt like it was because of the mouse. When I'm playing a game like Dota, however, I, I don't feel like the mouse is holding me back at all. It doesn't have a huge amount of programmable buttons, but I don't use them anyway. And you know, for that kind of game, I feel like it's fine. If you play a lot of League of Legends and stuff, um, this mouse is gonna be fine. That kind of brings me to the cost dilemma. The Intelli mouse on Microsoft's store costs 40 US dollars. And for 40 US dollars, you have quite a big selection of decent gaming mice. You can get a better mouse for the same amount of money. So why buy the Intelli mouse? Honestly, even if you're an office worker, I don't really think this is the best purchase. I think it's better than most office mice, but just get something like a G203 and you're gonna have a nicer mouse. Although it is pretty comfortable. The thing is though, there is a pro version of the Intelli mouse that has a better sensor in it. So I would be interested to see how that compares to this mouse. So let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to see that video. And with that, it brings me to the end of my opinion on the Intelli mouse. So if you have any firsthand experience with the new Microsoft Intelli mouse, let me know in the comment section below what you think of it. Um, but yeah, I'm not a massive fan. I, I would definitely buy a budget oriented gaming mouse more, but I mean, it's for gaming. Obviously that would work better. Anyway, with that, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, Discord. Um, and yeah, until the next video, bye-bye.